Hey guys, so due to the time it is, um, right now it's 6.32, I am going to post this video anyways, but I wanted to post this video um, saying that I officially have reached 600 Poshmark subscribers. I actually am at 5.96 and so look, 5.96. So I only have like four four followers. I mean four. I said subscribers. I was acting like it was a YouTube or Instagram. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? But yes, it is on Instagram. No, shoot, Poshmark. And I'm almost there. Like I literally, I'm almost there. I'm so excited. Like I can't believe this. I am like ecstatic because I feel like I'm gonna get those subscribers in a few minutes or hours I've been getting subscribers non-stop um in the last six hours I've gained well, let's see in the last 19 hours I've gained one two three four five six seven eight wait eight nine ten eleven eleven followers to my boutique and if you don't follow me, follow my boutique already, you can follow my boutique. I will leave the link in the description box so that you can follow it. Um, yeah, and it just makes me really excited. Really, really excited. Um, so I wanted to start off the video with that. And I know that's not what you came for fully. So let's dive into the video. Pour you a cup of water, a cup of tea. Um you know, in a nice wine glass, and let's sit down and talk. Hi, beautiful ladies and gentlemen, if I have gentlemen, because, you know, there's no need to be biased. Um, welcome to She Jim Beauty, where I talk about depression. I share videos on beauty. I do makeup tutorials, and I also cook and bake. Now, Today, um, in today's society, a lot of us that are black and Hispanic, um, and of course, um, whites as well, ha grow up in households where it's like single parent household. Now, I want you to, I want, I want to give you a few tips on how to navigate this because it took me. 25 years of me going through it you know dating uh you know separating having fights with girls and other women that are you know that are either younger than me around my age or even not being able to talk to them you look at the camera not being able to talk to them at all and if this sounds anything like you then i need you to know that you are it's not your fault like it's not your fault you're just a part of this generation this generation where a lot of us are going through the same thing you know there's like a, a era and an era of doing um, makeup and an era of doing this type of hairstyle well this is the era of the effect of single parent homes okay so if you grew up with maybe just your mom or just your dad in the household, the chances of you understanding men and women could be very small, especially if you didn't have your grandparents around, especially if you didn't have your uncles or your aunt visit you frequently. A lot of times it kind of just becomes a downhill spiral. So it's not just your dad that's gone, it's, it's everyone else that's connected to him. And if your mom suffered a lot when your dad wasn't away, she didn't keep the contacts with your, with her sisters or with her aunts or with her nieces. And so she too became very, very uh, detached from everyone. And I think that if you didn't have to deal with that, you were very lucky, you know, and you perhaps can help a lot of the people who have had to deal with that, such as myself. In the comment section because we need you we need you more than you think we do a lot of us when we finally learn a lot and I just want to say that learn a lot it's hard because a lot of people won't believe it they won't believe that you can overcome something after you have 
dealt with so much trauma and so much pain and so much um, abandonment issues. Like a lot of people just won't believe like they're like, no, there's no way you could have gone through that because it sounds ridiculous. And some people might even find it as a joke, but it's not a joke and it's real and it's true. So one of the things that you have to remember or know is that you are most like your parents. You're not identical to your parents. You're not identical to your parents. Like, unless you have the same personalities that, as them, you don't have the same, you don't have the same personality as your parents, but you do have similar qualities. And this is due to genetics. This is due to DNA. You are like your parents, but you're like, like, let's say this is your, your hand is your parents. Well, this is you. And this is you guys so you're like literally an attachment a connection a, a somewhat not somewhat of a reflection except the reflection could be like let's say your parents are like a white reflection you could be like a blue reflection it's like that and the reason why it's important to have both parents is because because you are a reflection of both parents you you are your mom and your dad combined you are not just your mom and your you're not just your mom and you're not just your dad you need to know that right now so if you're having a lot of problems with with your mom or your dad you need to go you need to give them space and you need to give them time to heal because what that's going to do is going to break the strength that you have in you you're going to break the strength that you have in you your dad is there is supposed to be there to mold you hold you and teach you how to be love how to be love and I want to explain this because some people say well you know you don't how to be love I don't get it okay all right so what kind of world do we live in today the kind of world that we live in today is is mostly focused on goals and success and for a long time it was only men that could be successful and voila ooh, ooh, I finally get that and you know why I finally get that it's because men are very sensitive when it comes to not receiving approval men need approval to be happy and they need love and when they're not feeling approved and they're not feeling worthy they become this this uh either this person who's passing away their life by drinking smoking gambling um you know being sex addicts uh just a lot of negligence like a man who doesn't feel love or doesn't feel worthy is just going to neglect his life so the chances are i want to go further if you feel like this now you may have a strong masculine mask you may have strong masculine energy you may have strong masculine energy and what this means is that you are a sensitive driven person however you need someone to help mold that for you you need someone who's going to take time and to spend time with you who's going to watch the favorite movies that you like going to go to these events and um and tell you and study with you and practice with you and like you know in a sense cheer you on you see when you have your mother she's there to 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 tell you that you are beautiful that you are confident and she's there to teach you things teach you things about how to be a woman how to take care of your body how to care take care of yourself how to feel confident and also she's there to teach you how to nurture how to be a good listener how to just make everything kind of like beautiful and when your mother is not that and she's not a good listener she doesn't make you feel beautiful she shames you she um, only is worried about focus about how much you work or how much money you make you will grow up and you will feel very 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 dysfunctional you will feel very dysfunctional and I am current I'm 25 and I'm just realizing now that the reason why why um, a lot of men 
are are nervous or were nervous about women becoming powerful is because of how sensitive they are not because they didn't think that women were worthy or could could do something you know they didn't they didn't think oh it's not because you can't do it it's because that's where the my, the man's pride is the man's pride is in how much he can provide and how much how good he can be and it's not to say that men are not nurturing men are nurturing but it's not instinctive that is something you have to teach a man you have to teach him how to be nurturing because if you know this and you know this very well and you have children you're going to see how sensitive your son is and you might think that that's a negative thing it's not that's his nature that's just how he is that's how all almost all men are unless that is they have more femininity unless they're more feminine they might just be like brush things off and that even that is still being sensitive they might be like oh i don't know what she's talking about but a very masculine man is going to cry and you're going to see him cry and you're going to think why is he crying but women women are kind of different you know you'll snap you'll get sassy you'll get a little um attitude you'll get um you'll get maybe like uh if you're depending on the kind of woman you'll hit you'll scream you'll shout everything like that so what I want to tell you now is that you, like, your children and your parents, you see them as examples. You see them as examples. So if they are good examples for you, then you will feel good in their presence. Like, you will brag about your parents. You will feel like, oh, my parents are just perfect. My parents are awesome. They're not. You will become everything your parent is or you become the opposite. You'll become or you'll like just want to make them mad just, be, just because you want to prove a point to them. You will literally just either love your parents or hate your parents. And if you hate your parents, you really have to do some reflecting. If you don't like your parents, that's okay. But eventually you have to just like get over that and accept that they're dead in a sense, you know, that they're not, they're not conscious. And if they're not conscious, there's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do about that. You can tell them, take your medicine. You could tell them, go to the gym. You could tell them, you know, work on your savings. You could tell them, work on your, your finances. But if they're dead, they're not going to, they're not going to listen to you. And that's just my very opinion. But I, I, I genuinely, I genuinely think that when you realize that just men, how sensitive men are, you will start to want to have friends of both genders, not just one, not just because you're used to one. And when you do have friends that is just one gender, it's to, or when you see someone who has a friend and is typically just one gender, is because that person is still working through attachment wounds. Attachment wounds, you know, being attached to what they lost. And this is why there's a lot of relationships and why relationships fail nowadays. And sometimes it gets, it gets harder because, you know, when it comes to just... If you guys want me to talk about sex and relationships and why that's not a good thing, I'll give you... I'll, you know, like this video um, and I will make another video on that but yeah um that is another reason why you have to respect men like you have to respect them you have to respect their money you have to respect how much they work you have to respect how much they earn because if you don't you create you are part of the reason why the generation the next generation will fail you know men want to feel worthy they want to feel like their life is worth something they want to feel meaningful, they want to feel cherished, they want to be appreciated just as much as any woman would want to. And I don't think that single parents often, not all single parents, but I think a mass population, especially the, like where I'm coming from, don't tell their kids that, they don't tell their kids that, they don't tell them like, oh, you know, your dad just wants to feel appreciated, your mom just wants to feel appreciated, because you typically, the mom is, Unless the, the grandparents are helping raise them, the mom is distraught. She's just sad that she's single. She's sad that she thought this man was the one that's going to provide for her, always be there for her lover. But chances are she could have pushed, pushed him away. She could have been disrespectful. She could have lied to him. She could have cheated on him. She could have tried to 
just use him for his money. And men don't like that. Men men don't like that. Um don't just use a man just for what you want. Like when you gen when you talk to men, think about what they want and um think about how this will affect them because if you do it too like if you're all if you're just abusing this man he's going to become like he'll try to get his own way however he can and he won't succeed and you will have another problem to deal with just trying to get yourself to just trying to get that man to, to trying to get yourself or yeah yourself or you to convince that man that you love him and that you trust him and that that you won't do anything bad to him is like nearly impossible and that's just hard because you know it, it, we all want to be loved we all want to to just have a happy home and to have people to share with you know um it's cool when you have friends you know your friends are there to share your hobbies with you <coughs> excuse me but with Mother, I just want to say with mother and father wounds, it's even harder to have friends. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is the end of today's video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I have a new follower on my, on my Instagram. Cool. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, you can do this. Um, you can get up from where you, are, where you are. You just have to give yourself a chance. You have to give yourself an opportunity, and you have to be honest with yourself.